What's up folks, Yoshi here, and welcome to Paranormal Entities. So this, as you can see, is a game that was made in a 10-day game Scream Jam that came out around Halloween. So, I guess the objective is, your name is Cliff, you're some college kid. I lost my mouse, hold on. <laughs> you're a college student, brand freelance, blah, 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 you're doing things, you're living your life, ready to go, investigation, hunting, outdoors, cable network. You've been hired to inspect St. Augustine Asylum for the Mentally Ill. Why Why is the I capital? That just confuses me. You will go into the facility, follow the producer's instructions through a radio earpiece, keep a camera on, and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you'll get 500 bucks for your time. If you manage to get something amazing, I'll get some amazing footage of for real-life paranormal activity. Wait. If you manage to get some amazing footage for real-life paranormal activity on your camera, do I scroll? Okay, well, the long and the short of it is it's in the description of the game. Um, if you get Paranormal Activity, you get like 2500 bucks. I mean, kind of worth it. I mean, depending on how desperate you are, kind of worth it. And you, uh, it'd be worth it to me. Hi, oh. Clint, Zach, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum. Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, oh, I hate a map, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay, what I don't like is the... the hand. It's like, my brain and my body functions don't compute. I do so far like the graphics, it probably won't render as well for you guys, and sorry about that, but... I don't think it's too horrible. I don't think it's too bad. Oh wait, which double doors did we start at? Oh my dear. Oh my gosh. Please tell me it'll block me off for the wrong one. I think this is the back. Oh wait. You can- Oh god. Is there a way to turn the sensitivity down? No, there is not. Alright, so this game might be a little bit longer. I saw a lot of videos go up to like 25 minutes. Some people did like 17 minute videos. Okay, well at least it locks me out of the wrong room because I don't remember which is the right room. Here we go. And if you just see me like scoot, I'm trying to stay in the center of the camera. This is not it's the best for this. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s. Love that. Closed in the 1950s. And a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients. But at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was... You know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. Which is sad and true for a lot of the insane asylums in the earlier days. Is that all you're gonna tell me? I'm trying to press all the buttons to see if I can activate my inventory. I don't want to accidentally. Sp what was that? Did things just flicker for somebody else? Okay. Well, I don't want to accidentally bump everything. I think my computer's freaking out because I got too much going on with it right now. It's sad because in the olden days, that's what insane asylums were. They were literally just a place to dump off the people yeah, you weren't proud of. Sort of against what the Bible's supposed to teach. I mean, there was no love here, no grace, no healing. The patients were not here to be rehabilitated. Ordinary people just wanted them gone from public. They shoved those with non-threatening mental conditions or those deemed inappropriate to society together with legitimate psychopaths. Murderers and other violent monsters and basically said, let God sort it out. The atrocities in here are just too much to count. The death toll was unreal. The violence, the disease, the abuse, nobody cared. And once you came to this place, you never left. You know, I know this was made for a game jam, but that pisses me off. And I'm very glad that they made a game about it. Twenty? Fifty patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their bed. Be careful where you step. Oh, hello. Oh, what? Wait, is that an arrow? Excuse me. All right. This oh. Is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. 
Okay, Spirit, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Just know that you're here. That's loud. Should I have locked around? All right, let's try that again. Oh, I have to be in that spot? You're so junk! Dude, walk around! Approach them, right. be approachable. Oh wait, I'm closer to the door. St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. <laughs> I give you permission don't, don't. to come to life. Just give us a sign that you're here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Alright, check that. Now into this microphone. I don't trust this guy. Alright, let's try one more spot. I don't trust this guy. I don't like that he's dictating what is being told to the ghosts that are around me. I should be dictating what is being said. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off. <laughs> I hate you! Did I just lose my mouse? Is that what happened? Play that back. Oh. Show up or piss off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. All right, all right. We, looks like we got an investigation. All right, I want you to go down the morgue hallway. Oh, I hate this. And we're going to continue our investigation in the other gathering area. I know this is for a horror game, but. You guys, this is a legit thing where insane asylums way the heck back in the day, like in the 20s, like just like you said, after the war, um, people were just dropped off because people didn't want to deal with them. I don't understand people sometimes, and this is, literally makes me mad. Okay, the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the East social area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Ah, summoning. Great. Center? Here? Am I in the right room? Am I in the right room? Probably not. You know, if you do this ghost hunting in real life, please have some respect for the guys that why do I keep getting clicked out of the game? It's like... Wait a minute. Oh, what? What? Oh, wow, this is weird. Oh, this is weird. It's like my arrow wants to go to my other monitor for whatever reason. Yeah, what the heck? Okay, guys, so... If you do this with a dual monitor, if you go too far to the direction of your other monitor, your arrow is going to show up on the other side. Um, looks like everything's still running, so that's good. But that's, I guess, one thing I have against this game, but, I mean, it's not the game's fault. They probably weren't expecting a dual monitor player. Yeah, no, if you ghost hunt in real life, have some respect for the dead. That, that broke my heart listening to that guy sobbing. The scary thing is, too, you don't know what's responding to you, so... Also, just because um, it sounds human doesn't mean it is. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, that sucks. Your pawn can't do your bidding. Darn it. Didn't I just check all the doors? Okay, wait. Something's up. Something's up. Oh my god. This is the entrance to the patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths. The worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a memer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them 
gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked too. Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. I was about to say, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the room we were talking about, but whatever. Oh! 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 I'm not into this! What? Oh! Talk to you, talk to you, where my light? How, how you turn your light back on? Oh! I don't agree to this! Don't just stand there, go, go check it out. Check what out! Mm, this guy, I hate him. What are we checking out? Oh, dear God. You know, I'm starting to question the value of money. I think... Oh, what? Oh, here we go with the arrow thing again. Gosh. Okay, yeah, the arrow thing is happening again because I went too far one direction, I guess. Um, dang, thanks, guys. We just jumped from 77 views to 84. Thanks. Oh, my dear lord. Oh, my... Whoa! What? What? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This, this looks like a keypad code. You want some food? I'll drop you off in orange. That seems to work in... Pa oh. Ooh, tongue and teeth, y'all. Did I really just jump to a bed? <laughs> Can I die in this game? Can I fail in this game or is it just for show? I ain't. Oh. Why is there so many fragile? Is this all glass? Alright. I don't understand the reasoning for that type of store. Oh. Tongue and teeth, tongue and teeth. <sighs> what? Excuse me? Did I miss something? I think I missed something. Oh my god! My butt cheeks are so clutch right now! Uh, oh my god, the arrow thing again. Okay, I might have messed up the downloads of this game or something. There's no way it's gonna keep doing that. Um, I'm going to bank on this is for sure. We don't need to say hi. She she seems comfortable enough. This is the end of the hallway. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. That is a lovely dress you have. I can patch up those holes. I know how to sew. Oh, oh, eyes open. Eyes open. I'm not a chicken. I'm not a chicken. Oh, I'm a chicken! I'm a chicken! I'm a chicken! Do I run? Mother, mother. Oh, my phone is buzzing. Second right. Get out of this hallway. Second right. This guy. This way. Doors locked. Damn it, damn it. Oh, okay. There's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase. This guy. This guy, he's screwing me over! I feel it! I sense it! Oh, shift! Shift! Oh, they made it like- Oh... Oh my god, they made it like Phasmophobia! Shift does nothing but give you false hope! Hey, my man! My man, this ain't working! Tongue and teeth, guys. I hate you. I can hear you screwing me over. 
One hundred percent. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What, the, what, what is going on? All right, all right, just. You better make up your mind right quick, man. I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. These sound like horrible decisions. Tongue and teeth, tongue and teeth. Am I just in a perpetual loop? I'm already dead, huh? <laughs> oh my arrow again. Don't you hee hee me, I'm not gonna hee hee you! Oof, boy, not into the hee hee. I'm not into the hee hee, ha ha. I ain't about that life. Okay, this is gonna be rough with the arrow continuously going to the other screen. Um. Okay, there's a lot more. Oh, fun to be! <laughs> Woo! Fragile. And it's all empty. Oh my god. Hmm. I am not welcoming you. Oh, I think I think I'm I think I'm already dead, guys. This is usually the sign that things are not going too well for you. This is where I died. Yeah, I'm I'm no longer Gucci, guys. I am no longer Gucci. I am already dead. Yeah. <laughs> tongue and teeth, tongue and teeth. Something's wrong. The hallways are changing. Oh my god, this is this is not for me. This is not for me. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh man. Uh. So it's a path thing. So depending on what I decide to do will depend on how the game will end, I guess. That's kind of cool. That's not cool. Ah, oh! 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 Freaking cheap! Oh! Uh. Okay. Alright. This is how we're gonna play this game. Tongue and teeth. Just keep your tongue inside your teeth. Then you won't bite it off. Then you don't have to worry. I mean, maybe the pain will tell me that I'm still alive. Maybe it's a good thing. Aw, oh, man. I prepped wine for this and everything. Oh, this, I am proud of this game. This was a, made in 10 days. Bravo. Bravo. Whoever made this. I had wine prepped for the downtime. And there's no downtime. And I appreciate that. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate that. Oh. Am I just done? Is this it? Wait, 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 Am I glitching? I think I'm glitching out. Yeah, the hallway disappeared. What? What's the plan? Did I just break the game? I think I broke the game, guys. The wall just. Oh my god. Whoa! Ah! 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 I 
can still hear my step step, so I was trying to back up. I have to stop shaking every time she shows up. contact with any of them that's 100% not my intent so I guess maybe that'll save me I don't like eye con contact with like any weirdos no 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 oh 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 no oh god it I can't go oh 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 I'm my lights just clipping through great this looks pro damn flashlight I hate you. With burning passion. No! I think the plan is not to look in that direction. I have to- Oh, my clippers! Oh. Yep. I have to. Tongue and teeth, guys! I hate you! Nice knowing you. 
Really? And this is why you don't play bait. Oh, thanks for playing. I'll hack 10 days. Yeah, no, this is really freaking good. Again, I think the one critique I have is the fact that I've got multi-monitors. It could be an error on my part, but my arrow... So when you have two monitors, usually you have them next to each other or one above the other, however you have it set up. Um, I have mines next to each other. My game is over here and everything else is over here. So when I move my arrow to the right too much, it goes into my other screen and now I'm clicking into something else on this side. So now I'm not playing the game. So when I started panicking, when she started to jump out at me or when he started to chase me... Then I couldn't really do much because my arrow was all the way over here. Other than that, damn, 10-day Scream Jam. That was in 10 days. I don't know if this idea has been stewing for a little while for them, or if they just came up with it on the spot and, like, flapped out those flapjacks crisp and beautiful that way in those 10 days. That was awesome. Um, of course, if you're watching this, you probably already know what's going to happen. But, again, with that hallway split... I don't know if the game would have changed if you would have went right instead of left, like what I did. Uh, my only reasoning for going left was the candle was not up against the door, so I figured, okay, there's less likely something right up against the door, so I have time to prep myself for the scream. That that was just my reasoning. But yeah, try it out. Um, I guess head right. Let me know how that goes, or if it makes any difference, which would be really freaking cool for a 10-day game jam if it makes a difference to go right. So I'm just saying, thanks for joining in and have a good day. Bye guys.